In 1.5 miles, keep right onto Whitewater Center Drive. All right, Tony here for a new little series for you guys. Play Boat in 101, baby. The loop is just a front flip that you do in your kayak, and it looks really cool. Today, Serge is going to be my coach on play boating. Just tell everybody a little bit about yourself. What's your background? Oh my goodness. Uh, been to Charlotte for 22 years as of last week. Oh wow, congrats. It took my friend a year to get me into kayak. We mountain biked, and that's all we did here. And every time we would ride our bikes around the channel, all we saw were people upside down, and I said, what fun is that? A year later, I started play boating, and I haven't looked back. Sweet. I mean, I heard you're one of the best. <laughs> Serge is also a really great photographer. Please check out any and all of his works. Yep. So, a little plug for you there, man. Thank you. Let's get some. Uh, let's get started. A loop is probably the most more spectacular trick, and believe it or not, is one of the easier tricks to perform compared to others. What this does is once you put your skirt over it, this adds a little bit more volume. So whenever you do loops, when you plug, it gives it a little bit more volume and potential more pop. Because a, a loop is a volume-based move and not necessarily like... Correct. Yeah. Me and Serge decided to start walking over to the next play wave where we would learn the basics and get a loop down. You want to walk everybody through the, the basics? Yeah, um, I'm just going to go by what this wave can give. This wave is not retentive. So this is basically like a, like a hit and run kind of wave. You go in, do a trick, and then you get washed out. Yeah. Normally you play boat, you want to you be retentive. You want to stay in the wave. But we're just out here having fun. So you can see here how the eddies continue to rotate. I like to go river left eddy. First, you want to kind of figure out where you want to plug. As you're coming around, you want to aim more towards center. You want to paddle into the green water. Allow the water that's coming down, pull your, the nose of your boat down. You're pushing your paddle down. You're standing up. The water's pulling your boat down. Wait until the boat is popping up. And then I lift up, look up to the sky, thrust and throw forward. And the momentum will just carry you through. And then you land back into the water. Now that I had all the tools from Surge, it was time for me to try to go ahead and do the loop myself for the first time. And it was pretty awful. I actually didn't get much better for the first several attempts. One of the biggest things that I see a lot of people do is they'll just immediately just plug and go into the hole. Once you go into the hole immediately, you lose that energy and then you just fall flat on your face. Uh, one other thing that I notice a lot is a lot of people reach up too soon. Okay. So you want to be patient. You want to wait until the boat is popping up. With Serge's advice, I decided to give it a couple more attempts. This is about as far as I got. A pretty, pretty bad loop. So, so far in this play boating adventure, it has been interesting. And uh, I think I've had one okay loop out of like 20 attempts. You have a thousand fails and you have a handful of wins. And those wins make it all the worthwhile. We'll go down to um, Sunset. Uh -huh. Because you can actually surf that wave and stay on it and do a loop. That wave is different. The way you approach it, the way you surf it, the way you initiate into the loop is different. Mm -hmm. Every wave is different. Now that I was at the new feature, I really found that I was struggling trying to, to even initiate the loop. Getting the bow down was one of the hardest things for me, and it was probably the most frustrating out of everything I did that day. I could never get the bow down despite really trying to lean forward and get my weight down. 
So the interesting thing that I'm noticing on this wave particularly is that I'm not driving my weight far enough forward to help and like pull the water to initiate the loop on the wave. And I don't know if I should adjust the seat forward a little bit or if I need to take a more aggressive forward stroke in order to actually help initiate the bow underwater. The previous wave that we were at was a much different one. Mm -hmm. The water was bringing you into the hull. This one is different because the water is lapping. What you want to do here is you want to get on top of the water pile. Uh -huh. So rather than surfing in front of it with the water pile behind you, you want to be on top of the water pile. Okay. You're going to see the bubble coming at you. And as it comes under your boat, the water pile that you're on is going to go up. And that's when you initiate and go down because that's what's going to give you more leverage to go down into the water. Mm -hmm. And then from there, once you plug, you wait until your boat pops up, and then you reach for the sky, and then you throw. It's just a matter of what wave you're on, mm -hmm. and uh, being in tune with um, you know, what you have. Yeah. After failing multiple times to get the bow down, I finally committed to adjusting the seat forward. After a few more attempts, I still had to adjust the seat forward more. And even with those adjustments, it still wasn't enough. But at least I was getting the bow down. It's interesting to me how much more I'm adjusting my playboat than I expected. The way that, like, that the weight for how much a small boat it is makes a big difference has kind of been crazy so far. So I'm actually going to try the Rockstar 5 out and uh, see how that feels in comparison. Now that I was sitting in a Rockstar 5, my attempts were starting to look like loops. And then I had two loops that really set themselves apart from the other. Now, I didn't close the loop out and land it, but it was the closest I'd come, and for today, it was a lot of progress, and I was really happy to see what I had accomplished. So the hope there is that there was some pretty serious loopage. Getting into the Rockstar 5, definitely feel like it made a decent amount of difference. So tell us what went right there versus the other attempts where we went wrong. <laughs> so what went right is when you go in to do a trick, like a loop, you want to be fully committed. You don't want to hesitate. When you hesitate, you lose all that energy also. You fully committed. In your mind, you went and approached the wave with everything that you knew you had to do. Paddle up into the green water, give it time, patience until you popped, you reach up for the sky and then you thrust it and it all came, to the, came together. It was, it was a pretty awesome experience. I would feel way more awesome if it was about 20 degrees warmer yes, right now. Yes. I am probably visibly shaking just for how cold it is, but it's been an awesome day. Awesome You're gonna job. see a lot more surge here in a little bit, learning to steeze it up here at the Whitewater Center right. and throw some tricks. Oh, now let's walk, let's walk now, it's cold. <laughs>